Hey, how you doing? This is John and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're looking at my monthly visitor. What is that? That's my monthly comic books. So once a month I get comics from Discount Comic Book Service. I, I pay for them, you know, a couple of months advance. They order exactly what they want and they come in a nice box, bagged and boarded, and they're in great shape. I, you know, so once a month I get the comic. I, I think I'm like a month behind. So like I can't do like up to the date current videos because I'm always behind. But you know what? I don't care. I, I still got millions of comics that I haven't read yet in, in my back room, but I digress. So again, the standard disclaimer, they don't know who I am. I don't get any kickbacks from them. I get nothing. I just like the service. Okay. So let's, this it did not come in my uh, monthly, this, this was a kickstarted or, or excuse me, a crowdfunded comic. I think this was from fund my comics. This is tantalizing adventures. And, uh, he was on P he was on my uh, my channel. We had a nice discussion about comic books, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to support him. He seemed like a good guy. So this this was not part of the discount comic book service. And I also just open up the box, take the plastic off, and I don't look. So a lot of times I'm surprised by stuff that I ordered, like this. The Savage Strength of Star Storm. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know if I ordered this by accident. You know, it's number five. I definitely wouldn't have started at number five. So maybe there's one to four in here somewhere. It looks cool. Looks cool. I don't know. I can't read it until I get one, two, three, and four. So a, a mistake is going to cost me a couple, couple of bucks. This is Fearless Dawn, number two of four. Uh, I like these. these this, 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 this art is really, really good. I, I don't know. I just picked it up based on the strength of the art alone. Um, and I, I've said that a million times, that the art will attract me to a comic because let's face it i can't look at a cover and say like wow this writing is going to be good you know let's be realistic so the art will attract me to a comic but the writing will get me to stay so i, I actually like this this is pretty good and speaking about getting comics by mistake black hammer i got this by accident i i thought jeff lemire was david latham i don't know how i messed that up i don't know what's wrong with my brain but when i was like oh because i really like stray bullets by, by David Latham and I don't know what happened in my, in my crazy brain so I book I, I just got the names mixed up I could say that over and over again but that's what happened but it was a happy accident I love this I recommended it to a friend and he loved it too and I this looks like the story is winding down I cannot recommend Black Hammer enough and oh wow this is a good month Yos, Yosagi Yojimbo this is like probably my favorite comic of the month you know I, I will say right now that the three comics that I look forward to are, are Yosagi Yojimbo, Wolf and Batsy, and Horace H. Hoover. Uh, Yosagi, uh, Horace H. Hoover and Wolf and Batsy are alternative comics. They're, you know, they're pre-ordered uh, crowdfunded comics, so they're not going to be in my monthly visitors. This is Summoner Wars Awakening. This is issue number six. I think I'm missing a few issues. I don't know any of these people. I never read any of this comic before any of these comics before excuse me but i've played the game summoner wars it's 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 like a two it's it's a two-player tactical miniatures game but instead of miniatures you use cards so how's that for, for pretentious and confusing but it's a fun game um i like the game magic i like i like the game magic together but i'm not i, I have a i have a collector of personality so i'm not going to get into magic because it, it, it's it's thousands and thousands of dollars and let's be realistic the people who win magic are the people that spend a fortune on on, on custom not custom cards but the best cards i don't want to do that i don't have the money for that and i could i could tell you my my magic the gathering stories maybe someday in a live chat but this gives me my magic fix so you could buy summoner wars and and there's just faction decks so you you could be the mud elves or whatever and the, the other person could be the uh, the digging dwarves and, and you just play, and you figure out how to work the deck. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I'm getting the comic book because I, I really like the game. I have the first edition master set, and then a couple extra booster decks. Okay, this is Alice Ever After. I got this because Dan Pinozian could do no wrong. I've been a fan of Dan Pinozian since he did uh, work for a role-playing game that I, that I still play, Villains of Vigilantes. So, uh... uh I, and I do like the idea of, like... I haven't read any of these yet, so there's so I think this is like the uh, the second series based on this. Okay, this might be embarrassing. I don't know. Mature readers, Hellwitch, chapter five, forbidden number one. Oh, this is confusing. It's 
Polito Studio. So I guess this is Brian Polito. So this is number one, chapter five, forbidden. <laughs> but I don't know. So I don't know what to do. I don't. <laughs> but that cover, again, the art will get me. I hope the story is good. Panya, the mummy's curse. This Panya is 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 like a, a living mummy in in Hellboy. She she joined the BPRD. She kind of had like a little suspicious circumstance about her. I kind of like the character. So I'm glad that they're continuing her story. Maybe this is set in the past. I don't know. But I'm a freak for anything Hellboy. Oh, okay. More Black Hammer. The end. Again, this looks like the end of the series. This looks pretty cool. Again, I, I, I can't wait to read that. I'm probably going to put that first. This is Mercy Sparks. Oh, beep. She's back. Josh Blaylock. I, 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 I have a fondness for like angels and devil characters. So she's a devil. And I just love that. She's rebelling against the devil. So what does she do? She gets angel tattoos, you know, da -da. and she's like a troublemaking, hard drinking, likes to fool around, you know, and she, she, she has like a fondness for those good looking humans and everything. It, you know, it, it's pretty good. Her mother was just horrible. Oh, cool. Parker girls. Number 10. I hope eight, and nine are in this or in this set because I, I read up to seven. Wow, this is the last issue. I'm excited to read this. I'm excited to read this. I had full disclosure. I had Terry Moore, the creator of that comic, on my channel, and and I absolutely love it. Okay, Firepower. I have the feeling this is winding down. This is Chris Samney and, and Robert Kirkman. Basically, what what if what if Iron Fist had a family? Is is really the story, but they delve more into like. You know, where Iron Fist's uh, mythology is more, it, it's like pseudo-Asian mixed with like Kree and, 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 and Marvel space aliens. This is purely set in like in Chinese mythology. It's really, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I, it's, it's starting to like come out sporadically. So I, I think, I think they're winding down. Okay. This is issue three of Alice Ever After. Looks like Tweedledum and Tweedledee. I guess that's what I'm guessing. I, I still haven't read these yet. Pretty, pretty interesting cover is number three. Oh, okay. Heat Seeker. <laughs> uh, this is a, a spinoff of, of Gun Honey, which, you know, book Gun Honey, I, 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 I make no bones about it. It's, 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 again, I hate guilty pleasure because why should you feel guilty about something that you actually enjoy? It, 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 Gun Honey is, is, it's an R-rated spy thriller. You know, or crime thriller, I guess. You know, there's, there's boobies in it. But, you know, cheesecake, boobies never hurt anybody. Although these 30... She looks like she's packing some high caliber 38s over there. All right. Um, Gargoyle. I love this cartoon when it came out. I, I absolutely love this cartoon. I remember watching them all, but, uh, you know, I didn't... I didn't catch them. I watched them as much as I can. Let me put it that way. And then uh, they, it was only on for, like, two or three years and then it was gone forever so there's episodes that i'm missing so uh and then like season one came out on dvd and season two was really difficult season two and three i think there's three seasons correct me if i'm wrong maybe there's just two seasons i don't know but i remember the first season had 11 episodes and then the second season had like 50 episodes so i i missed a lot so i i, I have a lot of fondness for this uh, i did a couple of showcases on on, on gargoyles so let's see. Okay, we got Saga. Saga, I find it to be I, every time I, a Saga comic book comes out, I just say I'm 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 gonna quit it. But I haven't. I think I got up to fifty five. So there's eleven issues I haven't read yet, and uh, it's very self indulgent, very meandering. Um, I, I I don't know what else to say. I, I it's it's weird. It's like sci fi fantasy mixed. You know, the, there's magic and then there's planets and space aliens. It's very unique. Uh, the characters are very real, but the, I'm just not interested anymore. I'm just just really losing interest. Is the, uh, it's a shame to say because I like Brian K. Boyd. He's a good guy. Okay, big game. Mark Millar. I am like way behind on my Mark Millar comics. Uh, I I really should, you know, just just buckle down and re and read all the Mark Millar comics. Okay, Roach Mill. This is a blast from the past. Roach Mill was was a late 80s early 90s independent black and white comic and they then they brought it back he, he you know it, it, it was oh, and my game started talking uh he's based his looks based on, on clint eastwood so he's just just like this 
biologically, cybernetically increased killer, mercenary, and roaches. He calls all like, all the criminals roaches. So he's like, you know, kind of like a, a Punisher type. All right. Oh, here's more roach mill. Looks like I am missing some Parker girls. I got to check to see if they're on back order. It's alive. And the Witcher comic. I got to say, these comics are excellent. Uh, let's get this glare off this I'm wild animals. Oh, stop talking game. Stop talking game. Um, the comics are excellent. Really, really good. I, I, I got to say, uh, the the Witcher show, I watched the first season because all my friends like, it's so good. It's so good. And I was like, well, when's it going to get good? When's it going to get good? I, I, I didn't like it. So I, I never watched season two. I, I, I don't care. It looks like I made the right choice as, as it kind of fell apart. And oh, all right. All right, looks like I got some smut money shot. I must have ordered this. I don't remember it. This looks like a uh, looks like a, a porno comic. All right, money shot comes again. There you go. I'm about something about shut up game. Shut up game. All right, so I'm not starting all over again, even though my game's making noise. Yes, I'm playing Civilization Five because I get off my lawn. I don't like Civilization Six. So there you go. This is my uh, monthly visitor. Uh, I don't know what else to say. But I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye.